Okay, uh, thanks for coming, guys. Uh, no problem, Philip. Uh, could you maybe describe your typical day uh, in terms of the tasks you perform as, as a systems administrator? Well, um, we, our day starts off with we have not only sysadmin, we also have a bit of a service desk that we kind of have to, or a help desk as it's also known, to take care of. So normally I'll come in and I'll check to see if there's any issues within the company or within the network that needs to be sorted out first. Uh, we prioritise those from you know full network stoppage to you know stuff that you know my laptop won't turn on. It could be anything, anything in between. Would you agree? Yeah, like anything, like, the system is fast. Like you, 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 as Con says, you can support and like you know maybe some basic password resets, but then there could be more intricate you know problems. You know there could be a, a domain controller down somewhere on, on a remote site, or there, there might be some kind of issues. Broader issues with the network connectivity affecting the whole department. Um, I've only started over in Prometric myself there in the last two or three weeks, but my background would be in the industry for the last 10, 12 years in IT. I was with DHL for a long, long time, and I was with Paddy Power for two years around their Windows 8 to a, a user base of 1,000 plus users. And within that, like it's a migration program, so you're getting involved with all sorts of people, with server engineers, the sysadmin guys, and you are a sysadmin person as well, even though you're doing desktop support. Um, from a desktop point of view, you can have any kind of problem with home same and, and you might be re-imaging desktops, but then you go on to like, the systems that the company is <coughs> actually running and you're supporting those systems and you're involved in the networking, you could be... A lot of troubleshooting. Tro a lot of troubleshooting. A lot of troubleshooting and especially we have to work, because we have offices all over the world, we have to work remotely a lot of the time. Now, sometimes we can remote into a system a lot of times you can't, so you have to pick up the phone and communicate with people and uh, not be afraid to try and communicate with lads and girls, obviously. <laughs> but um, it's, it's a very, very, varied um, job that's not anyway boring. Like I said, I, I, I'm just, I got my degree, I got my results on a tourist day. I went for an interview on the Friday and the following Monday I started. And since then, I'm very, very busy. We also have to work on projects. We're trying to um, migrate all the computers um, to Windows 10. Now, within that, there's an awful lot to try and um, before we can that will come to fruition. So you never stop working on projects. <laughs> and uh, even from like a, a, a college perspective, I have to take a report writing class come January. So you'll always be learning. It's not anyway boring. This week is so busy sorting stuff out. We haven't even had time to take lunch, but it's it's it's, it's interesting. Um, I really yeah. enjoy it for starts. I couldn't be happier, you know. Yeah, I think like especially if you get yourself into a recently big, big company and, and you're involved in systems man uh, and you get into the projects. It can be really exciting. I mean, from my own point, um, my my past careers in, in DHL, I've worked on some big big projects. Uh, it's taken me to Prague. It's taken me to support 12 sites around Ireland and you know that included site opening sites. When you open a site, it's everything from setting up the comms room to setting up the network. You're, you're, you're dealing with the, the higher level guys in, in, in that area as well, so you're, you're always upskilling all the time. And you, there's always a flow. So you might go in there as a junior, but you'll very quickly flow into other kind of levels of IT in organisations that are, that, that are progressive like that and are setting up and they're doing site locations or they're doing site wind downs. Moves and I migrated the help desk to Prague six years ago. So within that, that's another element. And you know, okay, help desk is call logging, and, and but, but there's a lot of you know background infrastructure that goes with that, and yeah, and the system in level, and then you're going into servers, and there's there's just third party vendors you're dealing with all the time. So you have all your big vendors like Microsoft that you'll be constantly dealing with. You might have whatever applications you're using in your industry. You'll be dealing with those type of people. And um, sorry, let's put that up. <laughs> But um, I'd say, yeah, like the, the boy, I, I was looking at HL in a lot of ways for the system in roles. I was working in the big team and there was a lot of opportunity. There was a lot of uh, cross training, and say, with the networking and the things, and um, with the desktop, um, the, tr the normal day to day troubleshooting. Um, and Paddy Power was, was another great opportunity. Um, and I, I was able to migrate, and um, we were able to migrate over 800 machines. So we were upgrading from XP to Windows 8. But again, say that it's not just a desktop involvement, you're, you're, you're involved with all the other back end stuff, you're testing applications, making sure the network, if they're going to a new network, they were using it to clean up their active directory, which is the backbone of where you have all your 
you know, your devices, your user base sits, so they were using that to clean that up, so then you're getting involved in that, that, that structure, and, and, and you're helping them out with that, and you're migrating the other user base and the clients over to that. So there's a lot in it. There's so much, to be honest, and there's so much opportunity, so much projects when you're involved, and you go into the whole service operation cycle, from everything from design to your transients, your change management, when, when companies are trying to change to a different environment, to the service, to everyday help desk tickets, you know, but, but it's, it's everything, it's so vast, there's, there's a lot in it, you know. That's great. General, that's, that's brilliant. Thanks, yeah. man. Maybe show your appreciation for the guys. <laughs>